Hey guys, welcome back. This week's video is going to be all about how I digitize my illustrations. Just kind of how I take it from paper all the way to the computer screen. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, so step one is to scan in your images. The first thing I do is put my art that I just drew into the scanner and let it load up an overview and then I choose the location. This is important for me to stay organized with all the different proofs that I have to do for clients. So I'm creating a folder to go on my desktop and then that's where all of these scans are going to end up. Usually I will name a file after the client and the year that I'm doing it so that it all goes together. It's just organizational things. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call this Imago Day 1, 2, 3, text, etc. I scan it in 600 DPI. I'm not really a pro, so I just feel like the more high res the file is, the better for me because of the kinds of software editing that I use and all of that. So I make some manual image correction, so just really increasing the contrast so I get really pure whites and really dark blacks. Um, and then I just go on and select each one that I want to scan. So each one will be an individual image file, scan it as a PNG. I just feel like that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know all of the technical stuff. All I know is that this is what works for me and um, I'm happy with it. So just going in, scanning everything, all the pieces are going into this folder I created and I'm changing the names for each one so they're not all mixed up. Now the photo editing software I use is called Photoscape. It's super cheap. It's just an app I'm pretty sure you can get in the app store or you can download from their website. I've been using this software since I was in high school. It's just cheap and works exactly the way I need it to, which is to make really minor changes and edits to uh, my drawings. I'm not trying to make anything on the computer. I'm just really drawing by hand and scanning things in. And so the first step is to make my images really black and white, really, really black and white. And then um, I take the paintbrush and get rid of all the pencil marks that I poorly erased for this video. I use this step just to make any minor edits that I need to make to really perfect the image and make it exactly what I want. Once I've decided that it looks pretty good, I will save it as is. I don't really make a new file or anything because I don't need to. So here are the steps again. Make it black and white, really black and white. Some people will use levels or a contrast tool for this. Um, get rid of any blemishes with the paintbrush and save it. I'm really just painting over with white paint on those parts, so it's really nothing crazy. I'm insanely simple when it comes to these things and kind of clueless to all the technical things. So anyway, <laughs> once again, going through each image, making it black and white, really black and white, choosing the paintbrush, and getting rid of all of the undesirable portions of the image. And in this case, the undesirable portion of this image is actually the word Imago Dei, <laughs> or the words. I'm gonna keep the branches, which maybe you have seen on Instagram because I posted them, but I really hated the way I drew this, and so this is kind of a perk to the way I do things is I just get rid of what I don't want. And I really loved the branches in this one, so I kept them. And that's why I have a separate text scan, because we're actually going to put that in the middle of that one. So anyway, keep on going, Fran. You got this. One more to go. Paint away the things that I hate. doop a doop a doop Bye. Bye, Felicia. I mean, come on, Fran. Look at this. Okay, I haven't cleaned my scanner in a while, so there's a lot of dust and dirt, and I could probably save myself a lot of time um, in this step just by having a clean scanner, but 
That's what technology is for, y'all. So say goodbye to the dots and the dashes. See ya. Poof. It's like magic. Please, Fran, please get rid of all of those messed up pieces. Oh my gosh. There it is. That's the one I wanted you to get rid of, so I'm proud of you. Way to go. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm going to save it. What's next, Fran? Oh, well, let me tell you. I will let you know. So the next thing we're going to do, actually, is merge a few things together. So I'm going to click on Insert, which is a wonderful little tool, and select Image. Do it. Click. A quicker way to do this is to click and drag, but I wasn't thinking about that. <gasps> yes, I was! Okay, click and drag. Boom. Now Imago Day is written in a beautiful way there, and I just changed the blend mode, which gets rid of the background, and so this is purely the text. There's no more white background on this image. It's a little awkward, honestly, so I'm not going to save it. What I'm going to do is actually separate this image and create a separate file for each word, basically. So Imago is going to be one file, which I just crop it out, save it. This is how I just make adjustments until I have something that I really like. Go back to that image. In that case, I do save as so that I can keep this original Imago Day and then also have the smaller versions of them, the individual version. Ta da! So now going back to that original branch picture. I'm going to click insert once again and then go ahead and add each one individually. So now I have two movable words. Change the blend mode to darken and get rid of that background. So that way, see? No background. That way I can rearrange this however I see fit. I can adjust the size. Um, and play around with the layout of this. So this is one way that I do that after the fact. Because um, sometimes I'll draw it one day and then I'll digitize it another day and feel like, never mind, I actually hate the way I drew this. <laughs> and so it's pretty cool to be able to have this option digitally to adjust the images and really create something that I like. So I'm just going to finesse this real quick. Such a perfectionist. Oh my goodness. I'm using the keyboard to click this over. Just teeny, teeny things. It's literally a matter of a few degrees. I just want it to be exactly right. Finally, she is satisfied. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as a new image just so I can keep those branches to say, I don't know, post on Instagram, wink, wink. I wonder if you could go and find that image on Instagram and give it likes and say you saw this video that I created. I mean, wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be a fun thing to do? <laughs> okay, so that is it. Ta-da! That's how I digitized my artwork. This is now ready to be sent to clients as a proof. When I send it to print, I do vectorize it. And that's where I did splurge a little bit, and I have a subscription to Adobe Illustrator. Um, but this is kind of just how I get everything in the computer and just ready to be printed and or sent off to clients. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions for me about anything in this video or any suggestions about things you would like me to create videos about, then be sure to comment down below um, and let me know. All the things that I've mentioned in this video, like the software or the um, tools that I use to create anything that I've mentioned today will be in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, things are going to be changing a little bit on my channel because I wanted to be incorporating more uh, aspects about my life than just my calligraphy or just my illustration and so there will still be tutorials and things like that on how to draw flowers and 
little projects that you guys can try and do but um, I'm also going to start talking about kind of my day to day if that is interesting to you I hope that you stay tuned for that um, because I'm really excited to share more about my life with you guys um, in vlog form and in, in other video formats. Uh, I plan on sharing more of my, of my writing with you as well, so some of my poetry and just kind of where I draw inspiration and what moves me to create, and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. That's it. I hope you guys tune in next week or whenever the w next video comes up because it's going to be a good one. Yeah. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.